Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up a vision system to do classification of parts. Say you're running a line, you have different parts that can be coming down the line and you need to know which line is coming or which part is coming down. Um, the wrong part comes down or you just need to determine this is part A, this is part B, this is part C and have the, the, the line do something different depending on the part that comes down. So um, I have one, two, three, four, five different bars here, Nutrigrain bars, Kind bars, and I'll show you how to get this stuff set up quickly. So using the new uh, Cognex Insight 2800, which has example-based edge learning, which we'll be utilizing today. So this is their free software. I throw a part under, the exposure is high, the focus is poor, but what's nice is it has integrated lighting on the front and a liquid lens. So it's a single click to optimize my lighting and a single click to optimize my focus. So you can see the part extremely well there. So once that is set up, then I go down to my next tab, which is the inspect tab. And so for this, I'm going to be utilizing classification, determining what part is coming down. So I'll use the Vidi edge learning tool to classify. And for this, I simply want to look at the entire region that I'm able to see here and hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is it's going to pop up two default care, um, categories on the side, OK and NG for no good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change these to the different parts that I'm going to be seeing. So the first one is Nature Valley. The second one Nutrigrain. I'm going to add two more classes. So I'll do a uh, blue kind bar. And then a yellow kind bar. And the last one is a good and gather bar. I'm going to do one more class, which is just simply a new part, which helps the system from a programming standpoint, deciphering if it doesn't see anything. And then all you do, I have my different categories, is I'm going to take images and drag and drop into the different category. For instance, this is Nature Valley. So I click the Nature Valley tab. I'm going to move my part slightly, take another image in Nature Valley. I'm just going to do five per. So I'll flip through this pretty quickly. So I'm not dropping any specific tools down. All I'm doing is showing the system what these different parts look like. And so this one here is a yellow kind bar. It says Nature Valley because it hasn't seen anything else. It doesn't know anything else because it hasn't been taught yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is a yellow kind bar here. Move this around. Even though that's a little bit out of the frame, I'll still use that. I'm going to go to my blue kind bar now. And do the same thing. I'll take some images. Now I do my Nutrigrain bar. And then my final part is the good and gather bar.
and there really is no limitation to the amount of different classes that you can make. So which it's really good if you have different parts coming down the line and for instance, different uh, Christmas marketing package comes down, it's really easy to, um, to change that on the fly. So I have five of each one and now I'm just gonna take a couple images with nothing to say this is what it looks like when no part is there, just in case no part is coming down the line. One more. And what you can see here is I've just programmed an entire vision system for classifying these tools or these parts as they come down the line. I have five different parts that could come down at any point. And all I did was take images and drag and drop to the specific category. And then I can output that to tell my machine to do whatever I want to do. From there, I'll put this in repeating trigger mode. And right now it's saying there's no part and I'll just throw down some parts. Nature Valley, go to gather, Nutrigrain, Blue Kind Bar, Nutrigrain again, Yellow Kind Bar. Let's see what happens if I flip it. I've never programmed anything like that before, but it knows what that particular part looks like. So in any orientation, it can decipher it. I'll flip the Nutrigrade or Nature Valley bar upside down, knows what that one is. So um, that's an extremely powerful tool. If you've dealt with machine vision and utilized traditional tools in the past, you know how powerful this is. What's really nice is it's good for quick deployment and quick changeovers and really saves time. It's designed for people that have used integrated or used vision in the past, but also for the people that haven't. As you can see how easy it is to click to optimize the lighting and the lensing and also just click and drag into your different categories. So um, pretty impressive tools by Cognex and hope this was beneficial. Thanks.